Hi guys, Danny here. Today I'm doing a video after doing some research of my own and I really wanted to get this out, especially to our Eureka community. A lot of people are new with MetaMask and I'm gonna show you how to back up your MetaMask with your seed phrase and private key for multiple, uh, multiple accounts on your MetaMask. And I'm going to tell you why, because it, you can create more accounts underneath one MetaMask, but your seed phrase only saves, backs up your, your first account. If you create other accounts, they're not backed up. And I'm going to go through how to show you how to do that, plus how to back up your first account with a private key as well as your seed phrase. So let's get started. So you just search on Google. I'm going to go through a quick setup of MetaMask here. Just search MetaMask, um, hit download. I'm on Chrome here, so I'm going to scroll down, hit Chrome. Add the Chrome. You guys already know this. You can fast forward it a bit. Add extension. I'm not going to spend a lot of time on this, so it's going to be really quick for this part. Okay. MetaMask has been added to your Chrome, and it usually shows up up here, right? But look, it disappeared. So what you want to do now is click on that. It looks like a, a puzzle piece, a black puzzle piece. Then you see MetaMask there, and there's a pin. You want to pin it. This is where you can pin your extensions or unpin them. Unpin it, disappears. Pin it, it shows up up there. Okay, so let's get started. You can either import a wallet with your seed phrase or private key or create a wallet. Let's just go ahead and create a wallet. Yeah, I agree. Create. Yeah, agreed. Create. Okay, now you wanna look through that stuff if you don't know it, okay. Click here to reveal your secret words. This is very important for you back up one wallet right your first wallet now like I said this will this will back up your primary wallet but not if you've added other ones really important to know this okay let's go I'll just put them so you want to take note of the seed phrase keep it somewhere safe don't just copy it on your computer and then you're gonna to have to put it back in order I'm sure what um, Ring. So you have to put it in order as those 12 words. So if you have to restore your wallet, you need these 12 words, and they need to be spelled right, too. Train border dry. Train border dry. Fog ivory argue. Fog ivory argue. Okay, once you got that in, you confirmed, all done, okay. Now, here, you can see that's your address. You can click over here, account details, that's your full address, right? So this is, this is your uh, default address on the Ethereum blockchain, but that address is the same on every blockchain that MetaMask uses, which is great. Um, Right now, if you want to add Polygon um, or uh, Phantom or any other blockchain, you can go to chainlist.org. Yeah. Um, connect Wallet. This is a really easy site to add other networks. If you have to uninstall your MetaMask and reinstall it, it's the easiest way. Connect, yes, connect. I'm going to add, uh, let's see, uh, I can add Binance Smart Chain, add to MetaMask. Boom, approve, switch networks. Just to show you guys something here real quick, I know there's a lot of people that are new with, uh, with uh, MetaMask. So I've added Phantom Opera, let's add Avalanche. And... Approve, switch networks. Okay, 
Now, just to show you here where it says AVX, oops, oh, up here, sorry. Up here, you got your choice of networks. We've got Ethereum, we got Phantom, right? We got Binance. Now, if you take note up here, OXC76, if I switch to Avalanche, it's the same. If I switch switch to Ethereum, it's the same, it's the same, it's the same. That's your address, All right? Okay, now let's look at how to back this up with your private key. Um, so since, well, okay, first of all, what we're going to do is we're going to create other accounts. Let's create account, account to create. All right, let's create another account, create account. Account three, create. Now, all we've got three accounts in here, account one, two, and three. All three of these have different addresses. If you're on account three, it's OX8B, no matter which blockchain you're on. OX8B, Avalanche, OX8B. But if you switch to account two, it's OX98. Now, account two, no matter which blockchain you're on, is going to have the same address, right? Now, we started with account one, OXC75, which is backed up with your 12-word seed phrase. But if you start using these other accounts, they are not backed up. And if you uninstall your MetaMask and reinstall it, you will only get account one. So the point of this video is to show you how to save your private key for each of these accounts, including account one. And it's really, really super simple. One thing you're going to want is a, uh, uh, say, a, a Word file. Yeah. So then we'll go over here on account one. Let's just copy that. You can go up to that little thing there and copy. And we're going to paste that there. That's our address. Now we're going to get our private key. And as you're on account one, you go over to these little three dots here, account details. That gives you the whole address, OXC754, OXC754, is that right? Yeah. Now, export private key, All right? That's the key right there. Now you put in your MetaMask password, confirm it, there's your private key. Copy that, go over to your Word file, paste. All right, simple. That's account one. Now we're going to choose account two, and we're going to do the same thing again. Three dots, account details. Don't overthink this. It's very, very basic and easy. We want to copy that over onto our file. And then we're going to go back and hit import, export private key. Confirm. There we go. There's a private key. Copy. The reason I'm doing it this way is I'm going to uninstall MetaMask and actually go back and show you guys how this works completely. Account three. Um, same thing. Now we're on account three. Uh, account details. You can either copy the address from here, or open account details, and just copy here. Just click on it. That's going to give you that address. Export private key. Confirm. Okay, there's our private key for account three. Paste. All right, so now you have the address and the private key. Even if you didn't have the address, it doesn't matter. You got the private key. So now, We've actually got our MetaMask backed up for account one with the 12 word seed phrase and a private key. For account two and three, you've only got the private key. As I said before, if you, if you create more accounts in your MetaMask, you need to save those private keys because when you, when you reinstall MetaMask with the seed phrase, you'll only get back account one. That's it. So the other ones will be gone, bye bye, never get them back again unless you go through the same procedure I just went through right now. Now, if I did this a bit fast, don't worry about it. Just go back and uh, 
you know, it's a it's a YouTube video. Go ahead and slow it down and and practice this. All right. So what I'm going to do now to show you that this works, we are going to come up here. We are going to remove from Chrome, remove MetaMask, and I'm going to reinstall it and set it up just with like a new wallet. And I'm going to show you guys how that worked and we'll compare those addresses since we saved them. I'll just pause it while I do this. Okay, I've just set up a new wallet now. It's completely empty, no other blockchains on it, nothing, and uh, a new address. So now I'm gonna show you how to restore account one, two, and three. So we're gonna go up here, import account. Just click on that circle, import account. It says private key, okay. Let's do the first one. This is our one we had actually backed up with the seed phrase and the private key. That's the private key. You're gonna to wanna to copy that and take note OXC75. Really easy now, just paste it in there, hit import. Look at that, OXC75, account two, awesome. Um, import account, let's do the next one. Copy your private key and then take note OX98C. Paste, import, OX98C. See that? First, the first digits of your uh, of your account number. Um, and zero zero nine eight zero zero nine eight. See that? This is how easy it is. It's not rocket science, and it's a really it's it's the best way to back up your your MetaMask. Okay, let's do the last one. It's OX. 8B, we go over here, click on the circle, import account, it's already set for private key, paste, import, OX8B, so you can put account details, OX8B, and you can see 801E, 801E, I got it back, all right? So there you go, guys. This is how to back up multiple accounts with private keys. And you, you can do as many as you want. Where this really comes in handy is you have to remember a lot of these decentralized applications, some of them are cheeky. They are scams. So as soon as you agree to connect your wallet, you didn't realize it, but you just agreed to give them everything in your wallet. So... A good thing to do for your long-term holds is put them in a different account and then delete your MetaMask and don't load that wallet up. Just keep it as a cold wallet, right? So right now I could delete MetaMask. I could put most of my stuff in account four on whatever blockchain it is. And then I reinstall MetaMask. I load up account one, two, and three, but I don't load number four. So now it's a cold wallet. That's a really good use for this. So, okay, guys. Anyway, that's it for me. I just wanted to get this out there. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something. Leave me a like, subscribe, whatever. Bye.